show you what sort of picked up. Lee's new black tester, one of 200. Does Just Eat send coffees? Do anyone like some half-hour refreshments? I don't want to snap his cheapo rods Oi. and splint on my hands. How dare you? Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're here in Cambridge. Today we've got Zappy install. We've just had a look and it's, it's a simple one but it's also a bit of a complicated one. Um, if you look behind here, we're just going to put the Zappy on the wall here in white, white finish just to match the meter cupboards. I'm going to clip the cable low level along and try and uh, replicate exactly what they've done for the solo. This is a solo that feeds straight into the board behind. Um, so yeah, we're just going to try and replicate exactly the same. Bring the cable up in a whisker box here um, and feed it through to the board, but there's, there's not much room around the board either. So what we're going to do is just bring a bit of um, twin and earth bring it through exactly as what they've done here, bring it through um, just so we can run it in with the trunk with the rest of the cables. So bring it down, like I say, put whisker box on and then put the high tough cable back to the uh, Zappy. Wait, oh, well, you won't mug me off there. No, He's this, gonna is, say this is new, Lee's new black tester, one of 200. Oh, look at <laughs> <laughs> That is nice. Wait till we do them rapid RCD tests, mate. Right, so as I sort of explained outside, we're just going to run a four mil um, full consumer unit and just follow the exact route that, um, they've used for the solar. But I've just took off the trunk in which is here. So it's come out the top there, it's come along this trunk in here and outside the wall. But it's rather tight in there. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's rather tight in there. I'm not actually sure whether we'll be able to fit another four mil. So we might have to think of something else, such as making the trunk in a bit bigger or something like that. Lay, is that, can you see that? Just hitting the edge. Oh, yeah. Oh, need to me in the eye. eye. <laughs> one in the eye. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Yeah, has it come through? Yeah. Yeah, boy. Don't want to snap his cheapo rods Oi. and splint on my hands. How dare you? Messy, isn't it? I know. This is obviously, I was going to take it out of this, swap it over this one, this 8 amp. Yeah. Does it got to swap with the 8 amp or can it swap with the 63 amp? You've already dropped the buzz bar out. Yeah, no, but I was thinking because there's no, look, that's simple straight out, but this is, I've got to fight with all the cables. But I'm now, I might as well do it now there. We've managed to get the four mil through and managed to fit in the trunk as well. Brought it into the board here, which sees them here. Um, we've just put in the breaker for it, the 32 amp, and now we're going to swap the RCD because it's an 80 amp and they've supplied us with a 100 amp, so I'm just going to have to fight all these cables now in a CT clamp to try and take the old one out and put the new one in. Okay, so while Luke's doing the board side, I've got the car charger mounted, glanded the EV Ultra in, so I'm just going to dress this in. I'm not going to connect it up because we're going to want to do our R1, R2, insulation resistance on this before it's actually terminated. Um, put a bit of heat shrink on the data cable and we're going to use two pairs. So one pair's going to go into CT1 for the grid limit. Another pair is going to go into CT2 and that's going to connect through to a CT that goes into the solar. So that'll all be red on the uh, screen on the Zappi and when they look on their phone they can see how much solar they've got coming in What's, what the car's using. Um, so yeah, I'm just buttoning all this end up and then I'm gonna start clipping the cable along for Luke. Um, and we've also got a isolator with a surge protection device to put in the meter cupboard. So um, if I get this done, maybe I'll jump onto that and show you. Feed it up and in the box. Yeah. That through in. That one clipped up and into it. You got to get 
the breaker a neutral, and the neutral yeah. in there with the tail. If the RCD's changed, just take the live neutral in earth out of the terminals, ready to test once that's connected. Yeah. And all the power can go on just to say when we're done, obviously, we're going to have to trip the RCD a couple of times for a test. Does Just Eat send coffees? Oh, what about like coffee and a donut or something? What is that cable all taped up in there? This, I don't know. Goes there. Just straight out there. Can you just? That looks horrible. It's right? busy. In disgusting. Yes, yeah, that's the RCA I put in. Then that's the new breaker for the thing. So as long as the breaker's on the same as same side as the RCD. Yeah, it's on this side. Yeah, here. cool. Do you do first? You do first, right, don't you? I usually, I usually do, do closest. The RCD first, and I usually press Test the button it. just to make sure. Yeah. I don't even mind putting that through. Stop. If this has gone well, that little hole should come out. Does anyone like some half-time refreshments? Joshua said to her, I was like, Lee's girlfriend gets up early every single day, wakes up, does some lunch and everything. So now she felt bad, so she did the same for me. But he doesn't even have a girlfriend. Okay, so I've got the twin and earth and the CT cable from the board. So the CT is going around the solar, and that's our feed for the car charger. So this whisker box is gonna go next to this one here. The CT cable, I'm just feeding through the cavity into the meter cupboard, and that's gonna go around the line from the meter, and that's gonna read for the grid limit. Uh, so that'll get connected to one pair of the data cable in the EV Ultra. This other one that goes up to the board will get connected to another pair. So then they'll obviously send all the readings through to the car charger. So yeah, just feeding that through now and then uh, we can get this on the wall. Someone please, please send me a green one. So in the meter cupboard, there's no ice lap for the consume unit. So we're gonna fit a Rec2 ice lap surge protection. Now we just take the towels out of here, bring them into the top, and then the same vice versa, those out to the uh, consume unit. So yeah, protects the house with surge protection. Send 500 volts through the cable, make sure it's not damaged on install, and then we'll link the line and the earth together and get an R1, R2 reading. Just done the dead tests. I'm gonna start getting the paperwork ready. Luke's just putting the Rec2 isolator in the meter cupboard. And then once he's done that, we can liven it up, get the live tests, finish filling them out in the paperwork. And um, I think they've got a problem with their hot tub, so we'll have a look at that and then um, go grab some lunch. Just thought I'd show you what I picked up. Need to get rid of this and Jordan needs to get me Oh well, Jordan just give me the mega one so it matches unless they will do a special black edition. So it should go charge now. Alright, so we've just done the car charger, that's been commissioned. Um the ladies asked us just to have a look at the socket that was feeding a hot tub. Um we have been out before uh, in the winter it was all burned out so we're just gonna come check it I mean on the surface it looks okay um, we'll put the tester in and see what it's saying 
uh, see what the problem is. I'd imagine it might need sort of a rotary isolator or a proper um, circuit just for the hot tub, but I guess that's what the manufacturer asked for, but you can see the hot tub guys just whacked a plug top on top of some S-wire, so I guess it depends what the manufacturer says, what it needs to supply it, but we'll have a little look and see what the problem is. Hot tub, lights, sockets and garage. Do an RCD test. You had to switch the breaker back on, Max. The, t the socket's fine. Can't the, fuse. the fuse. Do you want to take the fuse out? Can you do it in that? The ATT. Yeah. And doesn't trip. Right, guys. So thank you again for watching another video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. We've had lovely weather here, and we're just going to finish off. Just got to try and fix the plug for this hot tub, and then yeah, I'm going to go and help Corey. Hopefully. See you later.